All right, guys, let's get the show on the road. This shower is nearly complete. All we have left to do is finalize the niche, trim it out with Schluter Jolly, install some beautiful glass mosaic behind it, and address the gaps on the left and right side of this shower. We'll show you how to do that, and of course, we will install the trim kit shower head. Polish, seal, and show you what the final product looks like. Here we go. 10 minute drive. Let's finish the shower so we can grout and collect our payment. And of course, move on to the next one. So we're about to grout this shower. I wanted to point something out. I get this question quite often. When the bathroom walls are out of plumb and we need to make sure our shower walls are plumb, what do you do with the gap in between the drywall and the trim edging and tile? I'm going to show you what we typically do. One reason we must have these walls plumb is because of a custom shower enclosure glass doors will be installed. So it must be plumb or close to it in order to install a glass enclosure. Now, these walls are extremely out of plumb. Let me quickly show you and then I'll explain how we remedy the issue with the gap right here as well as here. All right, so here is the bathroom wall. As you can see there, it is out of plumb by quite a bit. Let me show you what plumb would be. That is what plum would be. More than a half an inch. It's about five eighths of an inch. So, with that being said, we now have a large gap between the drywall and our tile that needs to be filled. Step one, if it's large like this, about five eighths plus, we fill it with inset. After we fill it with inset, we Fill it with hot mud, 20 minute drywall mud, and then paint. You will paint the gap the same color as the wall and it will flow in and disappear. And that is filled with drywall mud. So what we're gonna do is tape off this trim so that we can paint our drywall here as well as over here.
okay, here we are. The shower remodel is complete. Everything turned out absolutely beautiful. Quick, three-day job. 19 inch by 39 inch high gloss porcelain from floor and decor. Let's show you the final product here. All of these walls are flat, plumb, and square. Four hour glass shower enclosure. We installed it at a 50% offset. We have notched cuts at the niche, but a full tile above the niche. Acrylic pan was installed. We would have preferred a tiled pan with a tiled curb. Beautiful 12 by 28 inch niche with a glass mosaic inlay. We trimmed everything out with Schluter Jolly. This is a brushed chrome. We think that brushed chrome matches much better with a standard brushed nickel finish. We capped the sides of the shower off as well. Shower head is installed, new valve and diverter installed. The shower is ready to go. As per usual guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, tap that bell notification and smash the like button and I'll see you guys on the next episode.